So there's wild reaches in our hiring camera crew who are willing to dig in the sand <laughs> and cook, and serve cold beers. Are we missing an orange one? Orange? Yeah, well, two blacks at the front. So we've just arrived at this river. I haven't checked the map yet to see what it is. Check this out. Oh mate, we just passed on a quad bike, has his tinny here. He's about to cross the river on his tinny with all his gear. He's got it sussed eh? He's paddling up, up current and then oh, into the deep spot and then he's going for it. Look at that. Uh oh. Go mate, go. He knows what he's doing. Hold up bro, I'll go to repair to the it's a ship on, I gotta find some shade. What's going on here, mate? Uh, just making a bit of a bit of a barrier for the old troop. Bit of a bra. Especially um, bit of a bra, bro. Hopefully, it doesn't get too wet. They create a bow wave. Create a bow wave, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I just want to push it all out of the way. Drop the water around the sides. Yeah. So we don't get flooded in the truck. Just stick to the one speed and just sit behind that bow wave and let it suck me through. Sounds good. That sounds like a good plan. Yeah. You can see. Yeah. Morning, guys. So we're going to cross this river this morning. And we're taking all the precautions because we've never crossed it before. We haven't spoken to, or except for last night, we haven't spoken to anyone who's crossed it to get a good idea of what the ground's like and what kind of crossing it is, how deep it's going to be. So um, we're going to take a lot of precautions and some of you might think it's overkill when you see what we do but um, you just don't want anything to go wrong and if something does go wrong we want to be able to rectify it really quickly. So yeah, that's the plan. We're getting everything ready. The ute's nearly ready. I just sent the drone up for a bit of a look around and um, I might do the same. Put a bit of a bra on the front of the 79. Make sure everything on the trailer is strapped down so it doesn't get washed off. Um, and then we're going to go for it. Yeah, so Dane's run his winch rope out, up here, wrapped her up, so if she hits the fan, Dane's hopefully going to climb up onto his window frame there and lasso me. Yeah, I'm going to get a good catch. And then we got the Sabre soft shackle on the back of the trailer here, whack it onto there, and then I'll pull him up through. What about me though? I'll have to climb. I haven't thought about me. What's that? If I get stuck halfway. If you get stuck halfway, I'll, I'll, back I'll go down to the water and run a big jump onto that. What do I jump out and climb back to here and catch it? You're not going to go in the water, there's a crocodile. Won't be up to go up to it. I mean, it's not ideal, but.
those up. All the electrics up on the dash. Bit nervous. Right, we're going to drop down here, fly the drone across. The river crossing. Um, yeah, I've let all my tyres down to 28. Got lockers on, except my front one won't engage, so. It's just rear lockers. I think it should be all right. I'm just hoping that knife doesn't get stuck. Because if he does, then um, I've sort of got to run the winch cable out and hook it onto the back of his trailer, which is not ideal. Jeez, she's dropped even further. It's dropped even further, I reckon. There you go, it's dropped even further it looks like. Just looks pretty easy now actually. It's flowing a little bit. It doesn't look too deep. But we just don't know, it's super slippery, muddy. Yeah, like Nate said before, we've never crossed this river before so. Just taking the precautions. Ready, bro? Yeah, mate, all good. All right, this is it, we're gonna cross. Doesn't look too bad, but you just never know. Lockers on, seatbelt off. Here we go. He's up here. Piece of piss, mate. Ah, that's a good feeling to get across there. All right, just gonna go check on Dane. Uh, that was pretty mild. That was very mild, actually. Sweet. Jeez, last night would have been a bit wilder. But yeah, this morning, no worries at all. I'm kind of disappointed. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> all that anticipation and I'm pumped up and then it was like... Could have had a big hole in it. it We're better off doing it that way than being yeah. underprepared. Yeah. They dropped the heat last night, guys. I reckon that dropped like uh, maybe a metre from last night from when we crossed this morning. Maybe not a metre. Close to it. Yeah. Last night would have been a different story. Um, but what we're going to do is check the river height now. And then um, at least then when we're coming back, we know if we get a gauge on one of these trees or something, I might even film it so I can check it later. Um, when we come back, we can say, okay, it's another four, 500 mil on top of what we just did. Um, because, guys, this is the only way to get to where we're going. There's one other route that goes up through Lakefield National Park, and there's no way you're getting through there this time of year. So this is our only way back, and if it starts raining, we are going to be hauling ass back to here to get through. Because if it, if it starts raining and then proper rains for like a proper wet season monsoon, we're in trouble. We're going to be stuck here. We're going to be stuck here for a while. We'll probably have to tow the, um, go across in the tinny with the dirt bike on, and I don't know, go get, go get to town somewhere, and then um, come back for our cars after the wet season, basically. road is littered with creek crossings every couple of hundred meters there's a there's a uh, like a washout with a tiny little creek and this is where you have to be careful driving I mean during the day you can really pay attention but at night one like this one right here um, with a big drop off on one side if you come through here at night with bad lighting um, you can be in or you can write your car off all sorts of trouble very dangerous that's why we have the best lights that we can get um, 
and we're always driving and, and really paying attention. You don't want to be drinking alcohol, you don't want to be, you know, music up, bloody thinking about something else. You need to be concentrating on the road. So this area here is called Mount Webb. Um, a good mate of mine, Damo, can pull all of these everywhere. A good mate, it's because it's so green here, it's beautiful, it's like a big bloody paddock. Uh, Damo, good mate of mine from, um, that I met last year up in Lama Lama country. He invited us here to, um, to where his ancestors are from. And we've been exploring this area for a while now, but this exact area, Mount Webb, is where his ancestors were based. Um, years and years and years ago before, uh, before the white fellas arrived and he was going to come up here with us and show us around but I uh, got called back into work early and unfortunately we're not going to be exploring the area with him which is such a shame but uh, it looks absolutely stunning and what we've found around northern Australia is you can drive through and you know it's nice but until you get some local knowledge and um, whether it's you know the traditional owners or whether it's um, you know a local police officer who's been in town for 10 years as soon as you get some local knowledge of the area um, and you get permission you need permission as soon as you get permission to go down some tracks and explore get taken to you know water holes and that that's when you're going to find the, the hidden gems of an area and really experience an area um, and that's one reason why we're excited to meet there and to be able to go up here and camp out at camp or near camp um, and pick his brain because it makes all the difference. New river system. How good is this? There's the coast right out there. Good boat ramp. There's actually a proper boat ramp. How good is the proper boat ramp going to be? Who would have thought? All the way up here, there's a bloody boat ramp. This is unreal. It's perfect. Yeah. I reckon any tide we should be able to get in and out. Yeah. Alright, I'll follow you. Okay, we found a track. There's another track up here on the other side of the troopy. Right. Hold up bro, I've got a repair to do. It's a ship one, I've got to find some shade just up here in front of me. What are you going to do? Airbags popped out. Oh. So that track in, I hit one of the um, one of those little crossings, creek crossings, a bit hard without, I didn't see it to the last second. You can see. That's not good. The airbag, oh geez, I hope it's not damaged. The airbag has come out of its housing. It doesn't look great. Looks like the other one's still in. I'll check the other side. Ah, that's the trouble with being, you know, super loaded. Yeah, that side's good. All right, I'm going to pull up under a shady tree over here. Bloody hell, I'm trying to get into some fun. Now I've got to get the tools out. Fix this. All right, so it should be all good. I mean, we're prepared for stuff like this. It's just a pain in the ass. So I carry a big blanket. I'm going to throw the blanket under there and um, all the tools for the job. Got the compressor there to pump it back up again. 
Just got to hope that it's not damaged because I obviously drove another 20 odd kilometers without realizing. Um, Ooh, Jesus. Righto. Well, um, Nate's just blown a, or not blown, but the airbags that he put in for the trip, one of them's just come out of its little saddle. So while he fixes that, I'll um, flick a couple of lures. We'll flip this lure around. See if I can pick up some lunch. And uh, it'll stir Nath up a bit too. Because he's got to go do work. and I can flick some lures. We'll go see what he says. I might flick a couple of lures while you hard at it, eh? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'll just go for a swim. Huh? I'll just go for a swim. Go for a swim? Yeah. Well, I'm oh, at you it. literally. <laughs> you dog. Jeez, I need some. I might try and catch lunch while you're fixing your truck, eh? You need a 20 year old troopy. <laughs> All right, we've decompressed the airbag and um, jammed it back up in there. Seemed to go well. The shock absorber is looking a bit suspicious, so I need to work work out what's going on there but um, now all we need to do is get the compressor out pump that airbag back up and hope there's no leak in it good <sighs> looks good mate looks good well let's go find a campaign and then mm. keep checking this later I'm trying to retrieve that lure too yeah so you guys saw how Dane was gonna stitch me up and go fishing while I fix the car well he lost my favourite lure <laughs> One of them. We got heaps of them. <laughs> My favourite lure in the favourite colour. You guys know the one. It's out there in the middle of the river. One of my ch one of my children. It's gonna float in. It's heading towards the mango. Is it? I think so. Oh, it'll be an easy retrieve for you then. That's a proper big dragnet, eh? Look at this for an old camp. Smile, you're on camera. <laughs> yeah, right. So I can definitely let more air out of my tyres. Ah, max track. Through the max tracks you want to scratch around underneath the tyre a little bit, like this. Just to get the base under. The rest of that can be up, like on an angle. Dane's just grabbed two more, so we'll chuck them under the front. He's grabbed four. We've got two for the trailer, eh? Yeah. Nice. Back strap under the trailer, rear tyre, front tyres. Alright. 
Round two, Max Tracks. Corner, I think. Turning. Yeah. I knew it when I was looking at it. Down the back of the track there, I was like, oh, that's a tight man. Like, ah. Stop it, I wanted to get that good angle. Yeah. Cameraman too lost a GoPro. Um, yeah, we just need some good weather, eh, to get out there. It's such an unknown time with this cyclone hanging around. Yeah. Work out the green area, the green zone out here. There's a big green zone going north, but we've got the maps that show the different areas, the different zoning, and there are areas that we can fish. So, Jeez, it's warm. It's so warm. trying to bring my lure in. You know what I was thinking today? It would actually be pretty funny. I think we bought two old boys on the trip. What two old boys? Like your old man and my old man. Oh yeah. And then just get them to do a video diary every day about how much they hate it. <laughs> It's a jack. Told you, mate. It's the jack lure. This lure is a jack lure. And that is bloody close to a legal jack. Nice little mangrove jack. He'd only be 300. He's not legal. Yeah. It's close, though. See the blue line under yeah. his eye? How nice is that? Wow. Legend, mate. Oh, Keep him away from me. Away from my little pointy bits. Ah, what a legend. This one's had a bit of damage. Then a little bit thinner than before. This one. Oh yeah. What a legend. Hey, crab for dinner, bro. Yeah, man. Cheers. No good. <laughs> yeah. How good's that? It's just bloody caught up with us again, giving us a couple of muddies. So he's just trying to take my little fella off with it. I mean my big fella. <laughs> oh, look at these beauties. We're eating like kings tonight. One floor. He calls them wieners. Yeah, you can't sell them. No. So they're ours. Yes. We don't care. We've got a claw each. Yeah. Nice. Alright. Well, the camera's looking really dirty. I'll give it a clean. We're going to catch a fish in here, I reckon. Look at this for structure. Oh, that looks good just there. We're going to get blown around in here. Time for one cast. Yeah. 
Yep. Yeah, I reckon they're going to be tight in the snags. kids that's why you shouldn't walk around out here in the bush barefoot don't do what I do that could have been a snake you don't want to get bitten by a snake out here it's bad enough dealing with these mosquitoes god they're thick I'm gonna get this get this fire going ah jeez I finally hired a quad bike that worked. We drag all this back to camp. All right, Dane's got a rip of fire going here. Look at that. And look at the smoke coming straight through our camp, keeping the mosquitoes away. That's the best way to do it, we've found. Right, what else we got? We've got a couple of muddies here for dinner. Thanks to Big Bear. A couple of bucks in there, but they've only got one claw each. So Dane and I get a claw each, and then we get to pick away at the rest. Okay. Yeah, and we've been doing fires like this for years, eh? Digging in a big post like that. That was Dane's idea. And then the fire just burns up, and it just seems to burn longer and hotter, eh? Big, uh, big little hole, and you get... You get one long bit of bit of wood and you stick it up and then instead of all your fire just collapsing the whole top the whole night and you gotta to top it up. The fire just has a lot of height to it all night, so mm. it's a lot more a lot more entertaining I guess. It's a lot nicer to watch and lasts a lot longer. Yeah. Yeah, and we should get some good coals out of this smaller stuff. We got the chainsaw as you guys saw and cut all that those Malaluka branches down and You can have them like Raging, hey. It's big. Yeah. And they just, the fire just grows up and it's great. Yeah. Epic. So we're going to have a good feed tonight. I think Dane's going to do some kind of Asian crab. Might cook up some rice to go with it. And uh, kick back and relax. Mm. So yeah, I suppose we'll bring you guys with us. While we're cooking, we'll get the camera back out. And uh, we've just got to let this fire burn down, get heaps of nice hot coals. Oh, and put like a little wok bay. A wok bay, did you hear that? A wok bay. Big little wok bay. Wow, yeah. Make a real special. Yeah, that sounds great. Jeez, Wild Reaches has just stepped it up a notch. And, th and then we're just going to kick back and plan tomorrow. We're hoping there's a lot of big storm clouds out the back here. I'm going to get on the sat phone and um, make sure. It's hard though, like, you can't, I mean, it's the wet season here, so all the forecasts are like, yes, there's going to be rain. Um, but we're just hoping in that catchment area for those two big rivers there's not going to be too much rain and the rivers don't come up and we get stranded here but yeah we just want to plan tomorrow so we've got a we, we've got a rough idea we've got the maps here showing where we can fish and uh dane's got navionics on his phone which is the same as what we have on our raymarine sounder uh so we can zoom in on the phone and see like what reefs how each reef looks and all the all the bombies and pinnacles and all the cool stuff it's all on the phone if you guys don't have that it's an app it's navionics isn't it navionics it's got a um there's a free two-week trial yeah it gives you a full detailed topographical map of the ocean floor so um, detailed it's yeah, amazing it's crazy yeah um and then if you want a year subscribe it's 30 bucks 30 bucks a year it's like stuff it. all you get to, um, it's good because you get to plan and yeah. pick spots where you want to go. And you know, like you can sit on your couch at night and do it. Yep. Yeah. yeah, it's great. That's how I used to fish in Arnhem Land. I used to just pick little spots when I was sitting there by myself and yeah. then, then I'd go and fish them on my days off. Yeah. So it's the exact same thing as we've got. It's the same charts as what we have in the Raymarine unit. So we've got the Raymarine Element uh, 12 inch up there on the boat and um, the same thing in the tinny and we run the Navionics, which is the exact same app Dane has on his phone. So we can sit here at night, zoom in, check it all out, and in the morning when we jump in the boat, we're seeing the exact same thing on the big screen. 
Um, we know where we're going. It's really cool. So we've got a bit of a rough idea where we're going to head tomorrow. Um, there's oh here comes now across the flats out there. I'd say he's got a boatload of mud crab. Um, so yeah, there's a bit of a there's a few bombies on the way out there that we're going to have a bit of a spear, get in the water, have a free dive and a spear, and then we're going to head out. We're going to take you guys to this island that a mate of mine, Maddie Parker. Um, check out Matty Parker on Instagram. He's an amazing spear fisherman. Um, heaps of knowledge of the area and the ocean. And he's told us about this area, this island out here where it's a no-take zone, so we can't take anything. But well, we can on the way out at all these reefs, but the island itself, we can't take anything. But I just want to show you guys because it looks amazing. I've checked it out on, on Google Earth, which is another good, not an app, but whatever you want to call it. I suppose it is an app. Jump on Google Earth and you go to like satellite imagery and you can zoom in and you can see everything. You see the lay of the land, you see the creeks, the whole lot's epic. All right, looks like coming in maybe for a chat. So we'll say good day and um, get on with the night. What a legend. How's that for Uber Eats? Did you order them or? <laughs> they normally come on a scooter, but he comes in a boat. Why is he giving us him? So ah, he can't sell him. He's had a big blue, that fella. He's had a blue, all these Look at the claw on this fella. Look at this. Look at the claw on him. Whoa! It's all blue. That's a cracker. How's he still alive, man? Yeah. He's had a blue with a bigger male and it's just chomping. How is he still it's kind of like coals where you can't, they don't buy like weird looking tomatoes yeah, and carrots. So. Yeah, see that there? That's right. A lot goes to waste. Yeah. And then he just throws it to YouTubers like us. Yeah. <laughs> the sponges. <laughs> the sponges. Sponges who can't catch them themselves. He's <laughs> nice and full too. Is he? Yeah. Yeah, he's full. That'd be, that'd be a steak, mate. That'd be a little... Lollipop. Little eye fillet. Little oh. crab eye fillet. Juicy little crab eye fillet that will be. I love them. I love crab lollipops. I look can't at, wait. Look at the colours in him. Yeah. He's got blue all down here. Yeah. Real blue. And real green up here. And I'll tell you what, so these nippers. Goes to purple. Yeah. You'll lose a finger with that. Yep. You would. Looking up with feed. We are. What a legend. Yeah. Bear, if you're ever watching, you're a bloody legend, mate. Alright, so over here in the kitchen tonight, as you guys know, we're doing, is it chili mud crab mate or is it some kind of Asian mud crab? What are you calling it? Chili mud crab, but I've lost the recipe. So I've lost the recipe, so I'm just going to make it up from memory. Uh, well, by the look of it, we got tomato sauce, we got some a, um, fish sauce, a um, oyster sauce, some sweet chili, some brown sugar. Ginger, shallots, or spring onion, lime, and it looks like coriander and garlic. Oh no, not garlic, um, coriander. Coriander and some more coriander, and some yeah. red onion, and chili. Don't forget the chili, we're having chili mug crab. Would you like a beer, mate? Mate. I actually wouldn't mind a wine. Well, I can get you a beer. A little, uh, little Sav Blanc could go down right. Pretty good right now, but really? I'll take a beer. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're at it. Look at the merch. Dane is wrapping the merch this afternoon. Long sleeve season four Wild Reaches shirt and the season four cap. All on the website www.wildreaches.com. There's the back of the shirt. It's a ripper. I really like these ones. Very simple. All right, let's get him a beer out of the ice mule. Oh, look at that, icy cold beers. Look at his Yeti for him. Do you know where your Yeti is? These things are epic too, by the way. Keep your beers cool for so long. Now, we're supposed to be doing long banana chilies, but we've got bird's eyes, which are a lot hotter. Epic. Um, Just how I like my chilies. Nice favourite, but no, I like some hot chili. We'll, um, Just take, we'll the seeds the out. take the seeds out. We're gonna get some good coals off that. I might load it again. We gotta keep loading it so we get lots of coals.
got an advantage because these guys have only got one core, so we can actually do this. But what you do is you just stick them in the freezer for a little bit. Stick them in the freezer for a little bit and then they go to sleep. And then you can do what I'm about to do, stress free, but these crabs aren't gonna like this. But if we had two nippers, we'd be in trouble. But once you pull the lid off, once they're, you pull the lid off, they're gone. Dead, straight yeah. away dead. Yeah. So you start by you get there under the flap. You get you under the flap here, pull the flap, pull the flap open, and then crack them. Look at that. Look at that fruit core. So he's dead now. These are delicious. So he's dead straight away. And you can see in there. That's why you chuck them in the fridge first if you can. Then they don't have a they don't drop all their stuff. Yeah. So you see these are their gills and these are all the gooey guts and stuff. And so if you cook them whole, all that stuff gets cooked in with your good meat. So I like to clean it. Good job to do down the beach. Not a nice table. Look at that. That's all the crap that would have been cooked in the mm. with the flesh. So we get rid of that. Basically two small ones. I reckon we got enough sauce to do one more. Yeah, one more. Oh, yeah. I'll pick a small one here. Yeah. Yeah. Now as you guys probably know, mud crab is one of our favourite Favourite kind of wild tucker out here in the bush. Mud crab, barra, mud shell definitely is a new treat for us. Um, but yeah, mud crab's up there with the best. So what we've done today, giving us five mud crabs, I think it was, yeah. is such a treat. Because it's, it's hard work the way we catch mud crab. You guys have seen a bit of it. Well, we've, we've come out fruitless the last like well, two times. Or you'll put in like an hour and a half of walking through mangroves with midges and mosquitoes smashing you and um, to come out with nothing is pretty frustrating and this was pretty much no effort put in and we've got we've got five mud crabs so we're laughing we're, we're happy lads um, we'll try and catch a big fish for whether it's the Spanish mackerel or something out at the reef and return the favour yeah all right so that's our that's our broth well that's what we're going to start with anyway all right mate so I'm just going to fry these up get them going and a little bit of oil then I'll add the crab, and we'll start with that, and then I'll add the sauce, and we'll get it all cooking in the sauce, toss all, them around. All in a walk. All in a walk. Yeah. Oh, that already smells good. Wow. That's the trick, I like that, the walk pit. Pit. Away from the heat of the fire. Yeah. yeah. We're always cooking right on the fire and it's so hard and hot. Man, that looks magic. You got lime in there and everything. Ready, eh? All right, we'll chuck a couple more muddies on the coals. Yep. Oh, that looks delicious, chef. All right, guys, we just filmed our cook up. I don't know what you guys heard of it. I think we got halfway through the wok cook up where Dane was cooking on the fire over there and thought it was all good we brought the food up here to the table you can see the carnage here we were just covered as you can probably see in the footage that I will show you now like arms covered in sauce and we were knee deep in mud crab hey chili mud crab it was absolutely amazing 
I said today and then I'm pretty lazy with mud crab normally I just throw them straight on the coals like we're gonna do we've still got two more in here yeah there they are so they're going on the coals we'll probably have those for lunch tomorrow but Dane just whipped up this epic chili sauce a chili Asian sauce and it was it blew my mind honestly I had it like up to my elbows it was amazing um, so now we're gonna clean up this mess but filmed the whole thing and we're like yes that was great you know said goodnight to you guys kicked back and I was like I better check the audio and we've had a few people over the last year say that we should be stepping up the game with our audio like right now I don't have a microphone on um, and the GoPros just aren't that good with wind so I was wearing a lapel mic which is a really good one I'm not going to tell you the brand because I don't want to burn anyone but it's just shut off halfway through filming and this happened to me on the last trip as well and I've lost heaps of footage like I've lost heaps of episodes because you basically the whole day you've got no audio and there's nothing you can do about it after so we've just filmed this whole outro and then realized we've got no audio so I'm spewing about that so I'm really sorry I'm trying to learn as we go um, you know we've always been out doing this stuff exploring and fishing and having fun but never filmed it so we're, it, it's all new to us and especially trying to use microphones so I'm sorry for that there's a rookie error I'm trying to get better at it but basically that is a wrap for another episode up here in Cape York, far north Queensland. Islands out there waiting for us tomorrow. So we just need the weather to calm down a bit and we'll be out there in the morning and we're going to take you guys with us out to a new island, do some spear fishing, yeah. do a bit of free diving, see what's out there. It's so exciting. Oh, eh? I can't wait, man. Yeah. Hopefully the swing backs off and we just get a yeah. glamour run out there. And yeah go to a new spot and hopefully we get no wind or we're going to uh, not no wind no rain all those rivers are going to come up and we'll be stranded in here mm. Some it wouldn't be too bad so no. we can give you more episodes <laughs> yeah yeah it'd be good for you guys but our families are going to be spewing <laughs> keep sending the messages we really appreciate it keep up the support with you know buying the merch and that i'm wearing the og dane's wearing season four um the caps all that stuff you know, jump on Instagram, follow us on there. We're on there heaps. So um, we really appreciate everything you guys are doing. Thanks for coming along for the ride, and we'll see you on the next episode. My check, my check, two, two, two. Righto. Say something. Something, 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 two, 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 one, two. Let's go to that island. Yep, 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 yep. Oh no! We could be in trouble here. Well, once again, I think we pushed it a little bit too far there.